In this demo, we are going to see how we can use the Arduino-based SparkFun Digital Sandbox to create a function graphing game. Here's a brief clip of the demo in action to give you an idea of what it does. I'm using the sensors on the Digital Sandbox to move the cursor and select the highlighted points. In terms of software, we're going to need MATLAB and the MATLAB support package for Arduino. In terms of hardware, we're going to need the SparkFun Digital Sandbox and a micro USB cable. If you do not already have the MATLAB support package for Arduino, you can get it by going to Add-ons and clicking Get Hardware Support Packages. For this demo, I developed a game with the MATLAB App Designer. One of the cool features of the App Designer is that you can drag and drop UI elements in the Design View tab seen here. Additionally, you can write code for them in the Code View tab. As you can see, we have our graphing axes as well as clickable options for the user to set up the game. Once the user selects their options and presses the Start button, the actual graphing portion of the app is controlled by the sensors on the digital sandbox. The light sensor will determine the Y position of the cursor, the slider will determine the X position of the cursor, the push button will act as a point selector, and the slide switch functions as an on and off switch. Now let's break down the code to get an idea of how this game is going to work. We're going to start off by declaring our variables in the section called properties. One thing that is different about the app designer is that you need to declare all of your variables here because they are associated with the app's class object. You cannot declare variables as you go through the program. Now we have the methods section and this contains all of the helper functions that are going to help run our game. There are quite a few functions so I'm not going to go through each one but the general idea is that they are going to make sure that the user selects the correct key points and as they progress through the game, the graph will be updated accordingly. In this next method section, we are going to see our startup function as well as our button press function. These represent the driving functions of the game and they can be thought of as the main block of code. The startup function initializes all of the variables and sets a baseline value for the photo sensor on the digital sandbox. Now we move on to the button press function. This is going to determine the graphs that the user wants to learn and is going to check to make sure that the game on and off switch is in the on position. Then it is going to take in the sensor readings from the digital sandbox and use them to determine the X and Y coordinates for the user's cursor on the screen. Using the helper functions mentioned earlier, it is going to teach them the functions by displaying the key points and waiting for the user to select all of them. If they chose to learn all of the functions, they are going to receive a little bonus once they complete their final graph. After their final function, the game is going to show them a dancing function man. The dancing function man is a MATLAB plot which will display a dancing stick figure whose arms are equivalent to the functions that they learned throughout the game. Now let's see the demo in action. I'm going to select the all option to learn all of the functions at once. As you can see, the game will not start unless the slide switch on the sandbox is in the on position. When I try to select an incorrect point, it is going to flash the red LED on the board, change the color of the on-screen lamp, and display a message in the text box. If I'm correct, the lamp and LED will turn green. If I try to press a point again, it will warn me that I pressed it already and tell me to try a new one. As I select points, the points will begin connecting to each other according to the function that I'm currently learning. If I skip interior points, the line will pass through the unpressed points as well. Once you complete a graph, it will tell you what function you've been learning by displaying a message in the text box and changing the title of the graph. Now I'm going to speed through the next few functions. There's y equals minus x. The easiest way for me to control the Y position is by rotating the sandbox to block the light, but you could definitely use your hand or some other method to control the Y position. Now once I finish my final graph, I'm going to see the Dancing Function Man. This is how you can use the MATLAB support package for Arduino to create a function graphing game. Thanks for watching.